The most common question that I get uh, from parents is, what can I expect for the future? What is my child's life going to be like? And it doesn't matter if the child comes with a heart murmur and doesn't have anything wrong with them, or if they have very complicated heart problems that require multiple surgeries. We're always thinking about the future for these children. Having my own children, I think, does help me a lot. One, one, um, one way that I've, uh, I think, used that my experience is that my children were um, sick, not with serious diseases, but with, um, you know, recurrent hospitalizations when they were small. And I learned a lot about what it's like to be a parent in the hospital, um, what it's like to um, try to have your um, uh, child receive treatment and, and the worry that you have associated with that, how you can't sleep at all when you're in the hospital, how it's a very stressful environment for your children. So just having had that experience in a very superficial way I think does um, allow me to understand a little bit about what the families are going through. One of the other major responsibilities that I have is to um, run the what we call the Complex Congenital Heart Disease Program. And, and that's a program that focuses on the most high-risk infants. We're involved in a national collaborative where um, we exchange ideas with other institutions and um, uh, come up with better ideas to uh, take care of very complicated children. Um, one of the really important things about taking care of uh, children with a lot of problems is that consistency of care is really important for us to have well-developed pro protocols for care inside the hospital in the transition to outside of the hospital and in their outpatient care um, is an important part of making sure that they continue to make progress even though they um, have very serious heart problems.